okay to do the vase that is in the inside of our card you're going to need a piece of designer series paper and i'm cutting that at two and a quarter inches or it is 6.7 centimeters so two and a quarter inches turn that around and then you're going to do it at five inches which is 12.7 centimeters okay then with the designer series paper i am using the dainty flowers from the celebration which is our free item you're going to now take this move your scoring blade out of the way you're going to score on the shorter edge we're going to score at three of a three quarters of an inch which is one less than the two centimeter mark now if you've got the stampin up trimmer it's pretty much on that line so pop that down give that a score then we're going to score at one and a half inches which is 3.8 uh, yep 3.8 centimeters so close that I've just moved that ever so slightly so 3.8 or three one and a half inches so there we go so give that a score now what you're going to do is turn it around and you're going to score at one inch and one inch from the other end as well going to grab your scissors just fold over those two outer score lines there what you're going to do is just come down not quite at the score line turn that chop off these two ends do the same at the bottom but this time you're actually going to remove the other piece so this time I actually want to take the center out so I'm just going to fold in and then snip off so I now have a piece that looks like that you will need to just watch your orientation of the designer series paper that's why I am using this one so the orientation doesn't matter I want you to grab some scrap basic white cardstock that you have and this measurement is 9.5 centimeters long so i'm going to go 9.5 which is about three and three quarters of an inch then we're going to turn it and we're going to do it at about two centimeters so that is about three quarters of an inch and we're going to cut that then what we're going to do with this long piece is we are going to score it and you just want to score it um, I'm going to actually just do one centimeter so it's not quite um, let me just get my cutting blade out of the way first so just scoring that and that is our piece there then you'll also need another piece of basic white this is going to be half an inch so it is 1.4 no 1.3 roughly about 1.3 centimeters and you want to make this two inches so about just over five centimeters that is the other piece of basic white and we're not scoring any of that and then you will need your base card and I've actually got a base card here that has been folded over um, in half so you have that in your supplies as well so once we've got our designer series paper what you're going to do is attach the piece of basic white so grab hold of your tear and tape tear off some tape 
and pop that down onto the end of our designer series paper like so now attach your piece of basic white to that okay what you then want to do is on your score line at the end of that just flip it over and add some adhesive right across the top of that okay grab your base card What you're wanting to do is line up your vase sort of with the end of your card and what you want to do is the end of the score line is actually going to fold over into that piece of the card okay so the easiest way for you to do this is line this up place this into the score line there, close your card, press it down, and now you have the mechanism attached to here. With the card now being open, what you're going to do is take this piece, which is going to act like a stopper. I want you to lay that down right up virtually to the edge of that designer series paper there. And I'm just going to grab some tear and tape and pop that down. Being careful, though, not to connect or block the paper being able to slide in and out. So I'm actually going to just come over this side and position my tear and tape here. Turn it over while the card is actually open position the designer series paper and then you should be able to see that moving as the card opens what I want you to do now is put some designer series uh, sorry some tear and tape onto the little tabs So one, two, three, four, peel off the backings. Now what you want to do with this, this is probably the fiddliest part of the card, close your tabs over as much as you can. I'm going to rotate my card because I did find this a little easier. You want to actually close the card and you need to keep the designer series paper so don't let it latch onto your base card until you have your card flat. Now what will happen is the mechanism should open and you now have your vase that's been created on the inside of the card. And that is all there is to making the vase. What we're now going to do is cut out some flowers and stems and finish the inside of the card and then we're going to decorate the front and I've done it this way for a reason because if you bugger this part which is doable trust me um, I've watched so many videos on how to do this and this was the easiest way I found but this mechanism needed to be longer and all the videos I watched it wasn't actually long enough to create an even space on either side of here and give us that fold of our vase 
in there so I have made a few um, changes to it to fit an Australian size measurement so now I'm going to finish this off all right okay so we've made the mechanism for the inside of the card so there we have our vase opening up for the front of the card what you will need in your supplies that you have you'll need the um, basic white you'll need two strips of this designer series paper now you've actually got this paper in your supplies so you need to cut these so i've written on the back here the measurement this is 8.5 centimeters by 15 centimeters for these two strips they are 1.5 centimeters by 15 centimeters so you need to have those three pieces cut in your designer series paper you also have in your supplies three sheets of um, cardstock which you're going to take your dies run them through a couple of times and create yourself a bunch of stems i'm using the um happy birthday from our previous stamp set happiness abounds and i'm also going to be using the flower out of happiness abounds as well and i'm going to stamp these a couple of times um, and i'm going to cut them um, out you will also need the designer series paper of this one that's in your pack as well and it's got that on the opposite side so you will need that you'll also need a coordinating blue ink pad <clears throat> pardon me as well i'm using starry sky and now we're going to get started on making the card so first of all we're going to start with the front um, you're going to need some tear and tape for this card it's under here and what you're going to do is pop down some tear and tape onto this designer series paper pop that down there a little bit more on the end taking this one pop that down and then on this one we're going to use the um, multi-purpose adhesive glue for that so the first thing you're going to do is peel away the back side fold over any excess if it's gone off the edge lay that down right on the edge of your card run it along the edge grab hold of your scissors and just gently trim that little tiny excess piece off do the same with the other side Hold that down, popping that right on the edge of my card and trim away the tiny littlest bit off the edge there. Then what you're going to do is grab hold of your liquid adhesive glue this piece Make sure the card is facing up the correct way and glue down this piece making sure you just line it up so that you have an even edge on all of the sides and then if you need to which I just ever so slightly need to just trim a fraction of my designer series paper off the top there now what I'm going to do is actually cut out um, all of my leaves and what I've also got is the little tiny um, firefly from our stamp set and what I'm going to use is my daffodil delight ink pad 
going to just ink him up and I just want him just in the sand, just onto the corner of my card there. Okay, so let's cut out our little leaves. So now I've got my leaves cut out. I'm going to grab my memento ink pad and some stamp some of these flowers. I'm going to do about four or five and then I can tweak how many ever I need. The next thing I'm going to do before I so I'm going to cut the color them in and cut them out. You can color them in and cut them out however you like. Um, color them in however you like. <laughs> and I'm going to be doing yellow for mine. And then for um, the words, I'm going to just stamp onto the designer series paper using my Starry Sky ink pad. And then I'm actually going to cut that out um, and pop that onto the front of the card as well. So I'm just going to go and colour these in using my blends. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing with the flowers. All I have done is stamped with the Memento ink. I'm taking the brush end of my stamp and blend in the light daffodil, and all I'm doing is just pulling the ink and colouring in my petal. I'm not too worried if I'm not meeting the edges of my flower. Then I'm taking the dark mango and I am going to just roughly colour in where some of the shadow would be on the darker side of the card, of the inside of the flower. And then I'm just coming back and blending that out while it's still wet using my So Saffron marker. And then that just gives it a little bit. And then what we do is just waiting for it to dry. And what we're going to do now is stick it all together. So we need our adhesive. We also need some of our dimensionals as well. And all we need to do now is just arrange our leaves and petals and flowers however you would like them to go. Now, if you want to, by all means, you can stamp your flower, your leaves on your um, images first, if you wish. It's entirely up to you. You can go ahead and stamp um, and then die cut, um, or you can just um, leave them plain. And then what we're going to do is we're going to raise some up. We're going to glue some to the front of our vase. So what I'm doing is just taking a little bit of my adhesive and um, with this one I'm actually just going to bring that and hold that onto my vase. Okay and then I can then stick some flowers on here as well can raise them all up you can mix them all about whatever you like now just with the front just while that's sitting in there to dry um, what I'm going to do is just finish off the front of the card for you so grab your words that you stamped on your designer series paper and grab your trimmer and trim up your words And I'm just going to go a little narrower with that. And then that goes onto the front. Just going to trim off a little bit more on that side. I'm just going to have that sitting there to the side. And I'm also going to add some of my ribbon. So you have some supplies 
of this ribbon so you have some of this in your kit so just peel off some of your ribbon create a bow Trim it off. And then just grabbing some dimensionals. I'm going to put three dimensionals in, along here. Just going to the side with it like so and then I'm going to grab my mini glue dots and I'm going to adhere the ribbon to my card I'm just going to tuck it in under there like so so that it's or maybe like that just so that you can still see the words and that is our card and this is the vase card and you can um, have a go at it, see how you go. I'm going to finish mine off and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Okay, so I've decorated the front. I've just popped my ribbon down using some glue dots on the front. Then I'm opening up the inside of the card and what I'm doing is just layering a bunch of different leaves in different directions and then I'm doing the same with the flowers. What I'm doing is I've laid this one down flat I've raised this up on top of some dimensionals that are raised and a little tip what you can do with the dimensionals is stack them so you'll see here what I've done is put one dimensional down and then I've stacked it with another and then you can do another one on top of that as well so now I have three dimensionals and then I'm just going to pop that into there and then that just adds a little bit more to that and what I'm going to do now is just come back in with my other leaf and I'm going to glue that straight down in the back now a little tip when you're doing this just be aware of don't go past your edge of your card because if you do um, you'll see it when it closes up and everything as well so then with my other flower what I'm going to do you'll see on this one and this one here I'm actually just going to trim out take away the stem and then what I'm going to do with him is pop him onto here just need to work out whether I want him at the front or whether I need to move him to the back I think I prefer him probably to the front I think so I'm actually just going to glue him onto this part of my leaf so there I have a bunch of flowers in there and then I have my front of my card so that is how to make a vase card so that it opens and closes you can add more you can stretch things out you can move it around you could even add I've got another leaf here that I could possibly even just sneak into here as well just to add a little bit more which I quite like that idea so I might actually glue that one into there as well so just reaching in under my vase just going to hold that for a second until he gets somewhat tacky onto there and there we go he's done so there is our card that's a vase one good luck and let me know how you go Years of inspiration.